is up YouTube, Unix guy here, back with another video. In this video, I'm going to be talking about SANS Index. So if you've taken a SANS training course or if you're thinking about doing a JAC training certification, then this video is for you. So first, let me define what do we mean by an index. So behind each book, at the back of the book, you'll find a list of the words that appeared in the books and the corresponding page number. So for example, if you're reading a penetration testing book and you're looking up a certain tool, so you look up that tool name within the index and then it will tell you at which page numbers this tool name appeared. So this is really helpful if you have an open exam, like SANS exam for example, is when you get asked a question about a certain tool, then you can find it easily looking uh, through the page numbers. Now, SANS exams are open books, however, the SANS books don't come with an index. So you can imagine during an exam with a time limit, it's really challenging to be flicking through five or even six books sometimes to find the answer for one question. So you need to be careful with your time and that's a mistake that a lot of us fall into. Now, I'm going to show you how to create a SAN index, but before that, let me just share with you what I personally did when I studied for three of my SAN certifications. So this is my method. The first thing that I do, I go through all the books at least once. I make sure that I understand every topic in the book. I also throw, go through the labs. I do them practically. I use all the tools. I found it to be the best way to ensure that I really understand everything and I'm not just reading and cramming through that I know what I'm talking about. It also helped me when I did job interviews. It helped me on the job because I really used the tools that I learned in SANS back in my day job. So the second thing that I do once I read all the books is SANS training come with two practice tests. Those tests are amazing and you should be really careful with them because you only have two and they're quite expensive if you want to buy another set. So the first exam, I usually take it after I study all the books. So this gives me an idea of my strengths and weaknesses within these topics. So I look at my weaknesses and I go and study again these topics, I go over them again, I mark them, I make sure that I practice them so, so much so that they eventually end up being my strength. So the last and final step is creating an index. Now you probably may, you probably have Googled some index examples. So this is a really good index example. You see the person who created it, that he used so many colors, so many tabs and, and brightful things. Now, this is not how I do it because I think this takes way too much time and your time should be really spent on studying and understanding the exam topics. So I'm gonna show you the sense index that I used to pass the GPIN exam certification in 2019. I passed and I, my score was 92, which I'm really proud of. Now, just a disclaimer, SANS books get updated all the time. So you're free to use my index. Just know that the page numbers may not be accurate. Now, looking at my index, you can see that all I did is I had a tab for keywords, book number, page number, and comments. Now, this is tailored to my understanding of the material at the time, so it probably contains more detail on the topic that I needed more work on and less details around the stuff that I was confident. 